This video demonstrates blind source separation in a multi-speaker reverberant environment using a compact sound field microphone array. First, a compact tetrahedral microphone array is used to capture the acoustic field. Via an A to D converter, the signals are transformed into the ambisonic B format. Second, blind source separation is performed in real time using a standard DSP. In theory, any number of separate sources can be isolated, but in this experiment, we are limited to eight, the number of switches on the speech processor board. Having separated all eight channels, we shall now recombine them all. This mix signal is sent to the video recorder's left-hand channel. Using a series of switches, we can select which sources are to be recombined and which are not. The resultant selectively filtered audio is sent to the video recorder's right-hand channel. The net effect is that both the recombined and selectively isolated sources are simultaneously recorded by the left and right audio channels respectively. The experiment is conducted in a standard reverberant office environment. The microphone is a compact ambisonic sound field microphone array manufactured by Core Sound. Here are our speakers. Each has already spoken to the system so that their voice is associated with a channel number. This process is fully automated. The source separation algorithm is capable of localizing sources as well as isolating them. In the following demonstration, the audio you're listening to is from the video recorder left-hand side. That is to say, the separated sources have been recombined. In common use, the word noise means any unwanted sound. In both analog and digital electronics, the aim of the uh, precursor is to prove the landscapes unknown and his new technology to prepare for future human landing. The first mission to visit the South Polar region of the Moon is a significant step forward today when a further study contract was signed with Das Museum in Berlin, Germany. The mission aims to land in the mountainous and heavily created. As you can hear, it's virtually impossible to discriminate between one speaker and another. Let's watch that video again, except this time we'll listen to the video recorder's right-hand channel. That is to say the sources have been separated and individually selected using the row of switches on the circuit board. Please note, in the beginning of this clip, all three channels have been activated and therefore will be combined. Thereafter, different combinations of sources will be created using the switch array. In common use, the word noise means any unwanted sound. In both analog and digital the electronics, aim of the global challenge is known as the world's Sailing around the world the wrong way against revealing winds and currents is certainly not the most frequent kind of pleasure sailing. Every four years, trials of significant steps towards today when a further study contract was signed with the Museum in Berlin, Germany. The mission is to land the mountainous and heavily when speaking of noise in relation to sound, what is commonly meant is meaningless sound of greater than usual volume. Thus, a loud activity may be referred to as noisy. However, conversations of other people may be called noise for people not involved in any of them conditions from the frustrating calm of the doldrums to icebergs and some of the stormiest waters of the world in the southern ocean. Philip was keen to do something adventurous and so the moon is a favorite target for the human exploration missions outlined in the global exploration strategy by 14 space agencies around the world. The strategy supports intelligence speaking from the headphones or earbuds of somebody listening to a portable audio player. At the other, the sound of a loud music, a jet engine, and close quarters, etc. can cause permanent. For more information on this technology, please visit the Elucidair website at www.elucidair.co.uk.